B-League action comes your way once again this Wednesday evening as the Hiroshima Dragonflies host Kyoto Hanariz. For the avid Filipino fans, it's the first time to be able to look at Kai Soto up against his teammate in Gilas, Pilipinas, his national team squad member. It's Matthew Wright. We'll find out which of these two individuals have a better game. But for these squads, they need to pick up victories here as we restart the action after the FIBA window. Good size crowd we have here inside the Hiroshima Sun Plaza Hall. Fans, all ages, in all shapes and sizes. And there you can see a very, very good size crowd and more are filling in. Hiroshima doing very well this season at 21 and 11. As we take a look at some of the highlights of their previous game, which they won 86 to 78. Kenny Blackshear. And then goes inside to his local counterpart. Outside sniping would be very important for their squad. That last game was a win over the Ryukyu Golden Kings. That was last March 8, 2023. On the other side of the coin, you got Kyoto Hanariz also coming away with a victory the last time out. 74 to 71. That's the highlights that you're seeing on your screens. That was against the Nagoya Diamond Dolphins also March 8. There you can see Ray Parks on your screens. He and the Nagoya Diamond Dolphins fell to Matthew Wright. Jared Uthoff was on your screens there. Actually, last two games, Kyoto Hanarez has come up with a victory. And looking at their last five outings, they've won three out of their last five. As you can see, Hiroshima, third spot. And Kyoto in seventh. Nice look there at Naoto Chuji. He will play a critical role sniping from the outside. Still leading the division are the Shimane squad at 32 and 7, followed closely by the Yuki Golden Kings. And that's why the win the other week against Ryukyu was very critical. You can see here the chase for the wild card. Well, Kyoto in 11th spot there. Still a lot of games. Remember, each season they play 60 games. And so there's more than enough to be able to make up some ground. But they need to be able to come away with a win here. That is a must. As we take a look at the lineups. Starting out with Kyoto Hanariz. Kyoto will rely on their imports as expected. Number one, Jared Uthoff. They've got number seven, Matthew Wright, who we talked about from the Philippines. They also have number 31, Czech Diallo. And the new import they have is Ekpe Udo. 6'10", a center from the United States slash Nigeria. He's 35 years old, so he's got a lot of experience. But there's Czech Diallo. Czech Diallo with a really huge resume. Played for the Phoenix Suns, the Pelicans, and also the Pistons. Actually, the 33rd pick in the 2016 draft. Everybody expected him to make a huge splash here. He's been on and off as we take a look at the starting lineup there. For Kyoto Hanariz, they're going to start out with number one, Uthoff. We talked about him. Number five, they also have Seiya Konishi. Number seven, Matthew Wright. Number nine is Tomomasa Ozawa. And number 31 is Czech Diallo. Now we've got a starting five for the squad of the Hiroshima Dragonflies. And while we have that, let's take a look at the new import that we mentioned. Sporting number 77, Ekpe Udo.
Let's see what he's going to bring to the table here for the Hanares tonight as he slowly gets to know his squad a little better day in, day out. Right now, let's check out the fanfare as they welcome the home squad. Which, of course, will be bannering Kai Soto once again. 7-2 big man from the Philippines. Late addition to his squad. He played in the NBL. That's the squad and the league in Australia. And right after his stint here in the B League, he will head on over to the United States. And he will play in the summer leagues for the NBA, hoping to be the first Filipino-born player to make it to the NBA. Hopes are high. He can hit from the outside. He can even hit from three. He's a very mobile big man. But he's here first and foremost to help Hiroshima get a title. And then he heads on to the United States. And then after that, he will banner Gilas Pilipinas in the middle with the upcoming World Cup in August. Co-hosted by the Philippines, Japan, and Indonesia. There you have the lineup of the Dragonflies. We're going to be relying once again on their imports. Kenny Blackshear, number 8. Dwayne Evans, number 13. Kai Soto, of course, is number 11. And Nick Mayo, number 24. Number 0, Ryo Terashima. Number 3, Naoto Tsuji. Number 11, Kai Sa. Number 13, Dwayne Number 24, Nick Mayo. And there you have the starting five for the squad of the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Number 0, Ryo Terashima, their starting point guard. Number 3, Naoto Chuji, who we said is the gunner there on the outside for coach Kyle Milling. They've got Kai Soto in the middle. They've got Dwayne Evans, number 13, and number 24, Nick Mayo. Our officials handling the proceedings here for this evening. We've got referee Horiuchi, referee Matsumoto, and referee Ichikawa. Every game is also important here for the Dragonflies as they want to stay in step with the leaders. On the other side, Coach Roy Rana needs a victory for his squad. So he can try to break into the wild card scenario. Once again, the starters for both these squads, the Dragonflies have Terashima, Tsuji, Soto, Evans, and Mayo. Kyoto has Uthoff, Konishi, Wright, Ozawa, and Diallo. There's Matthew Wright, a little bit of a... Minute to meditate. And we're ready to go here at the Hiroshima Sun Plaza Hall. We'd like to thank all of you for joining us for the action. A battle royale between these two squads that have their Asia Coda imports from the Philippines. And we're right on schedule. 7.10. Japan time, 6.10. Manila time. First possession. Goes to Kyoto. Utov, step back. Three, yes! That's a very good start here for Jared Utov. He has been on fire lately. Unfortunately for him, they had to stop for the FIBA break. 
quickly. It's three to nothing for Kyoto. Kai can hit it from the outside as well. You can see that imposing figure he's got at seven foot two. Evans to the wing. Kai Soto's waiting inside. They take a long one and we're tied at three. Rio Terashima can hit it from there as well. Our first deadlock of the ball game. An early turnover there for Czech Diallo. He quickly apologizes, tells his teammates to head on back. That's just lack of concentration. Hiroshima. Go inside once again to Mayo. Why not? Mayo's got a little bit of a mismatch there against Matthew Wright. Terashima inside will come up short. Check the Alu clears. And they're off and running. Matthew Wright on the wing. Still with possession. Trying to take advantage of the mismatch, and they do. And you say it's a mismatch because Check the has got a lot of experience, though he's much shorter. And he made that sign saying Kai Soto's just too small. Check the yellow. Actually, stands six foot eight up against a seven two. Dwayne Evans gets away inside, and we're tied once again at five. Let's see, they try to look for Check the yellow once again. He feels he's got the mismatch, speed wise, experience wise, and even heft. Here he goes once again. They'll go to the wing, Jared Utoff. Couple of dribbles. We'll have to put this one up. Shot clock. Down to one. Wild shot. Not going to work. Terashima will push it forward. Chuji almost traveled. And he did. Referees on top of the situation there. Bit of a shaky start for both these squads with these mental mistakes. And that was right in front of the referee. There's no way he could have missed that one. Almost a steal. First to the floor. Utoff will pick this one up. But it's a 16. You see 16 seconds, actually 15 there in the shot clock, which is an eight second violation. So it's another turnover. That's good hustle. Well, Jared didn't realize the fact that the clock was winding down. Pretty good defense put up by Konishi. Chuji to Evans. Kai can't get any position inside. He's being outmuscled there by Czech. But it is not going to matter. Now to Chuji is going to hit his first three, and Hiroshima will have their first taste of the lead. Eight to five is our tally. Check asking for it once again. They can't find him. Matthew Wright will launch. Good line, a little bit too strong. Here's Check Diallo forces the issue. That time, Joanne Evans says, Yes, I'm not as tall as Kai, but I'm much stronger and much more experienced. Stopping Check Diallo in his tracks there. Watch it once again. He held his ground. That's a travel. Evans. Evans, a little bit of a stutter step. He's going to get fouled there by Utov. Utov doesn't like the call. He quickly stood up and is ready to complain. Evans is saying, well, I've got a lot of experience. Watch it here. Well, Utov definitely has a point. Evans was clinging on to his arm. But what Uthoff has to realize is the referee wouldn't have seen it from his particular point of view. So all the referee is going to see is the body contact. Heads up play there for Evans. He's going to knock down that first free throw. Lead is now up to four.
Second coming up, you see some of the Hanaris fans trying to help out their squad. But nonetheless, Evans is going to make both free throws. It is now 10 to 5. Where is right to go? To the wing. Denishi will send it over to Uthoff. Jared, a little bit too strong. Offensive rebound and a put back there for Czech Diallo. He's got four points. Asking for a contact. None given. Evans will go inside. That's an easy slam there for Kai Soto. He's on the board. All he needs to get that pass is inside that shaded area. And that's it. Lead pass. Check Diallo can't get there. He was fouled. Just a pass there. Kai just needs to set his feet and easily slams that home. What a wise move coming from their opponents. That's going to be the first personal foul of Kai because they try to go to check Diallo right away. First entry for Yoshiaki Kubota. Kubota is usually the starting point guard. Coming off the bench this time. Right, we'll go to check. We're gonna wait for check to set up first inside. Set that pick. Two man game. Broder, not gonna drop there. Board. Going to Kai. He pushes it forward. Dwayne Evans. Gonna work his muscle inside. The pass straight to Matthew Wright. Right. Counter steal there by Evans. And he apologizes, says, let's set things up. Terashima, though, will attack inside. That's an easy slam there for Kai Soto. Heads up play. And that gave Evans also some time to rest. It is 14 to 7 now. Utov. And fancy footwork. He's going to miss. That's going to be the second personal foul of Kai. He can hit the bench. That's the maturity that he has to, to actually go and learn. And he'll only get that. He'll only get that through playing on the court. Look at this play. Kai says, "Send it high." Hiroshima did. But now Kai Soto, riddled with two personal fouls, will have to sit down. Coming in this place is Sadohara. Rio Sadohara, number 23, is a hard-nosed defender. Obviously not a stall. And kiss it high off the glass, a little bit too strong. Diallo mistimed his jump. Sadohara says, let's slow things down. Suji. Still a lot of time on the shot clock. Suji will send it back. Evans to the wing. And that's going to be a travel there from Sadohara. Excuse me, from Terashima. We got two Rios on the floor. Rio Terashima and Rio Sadohara. Five minutes quickly gone here in the first period. And here comes Kenny Blackshear. First entry also of the new import from the United States, Ekpe Udo. Seafunyu, number seven, is also checking in. Let's get us a forward, but always plays point guard. Quick move there. Jared Utov is going to come up short, though, on that layup. Sorry, missed there for Jared. Here's Seya once again. As we talked about, always handling that basketball. He's a very tall point. So he's listed as a forward. Sadohara will try to challenge. Rio left open on the wing. Will miss fire. Go inside to check. 
Matthew right for three. Swish. That's going to cut the lead of Hiroshima down to just four. First three-pointer for Matthew Wright. Sadohara will get fouled. That's going to be the second personal, I believe, on Matthew Wright. If it is, going to be on Matthew. Smart play there from Sadohara, just making sure there was contact. Coming over to help was Udo. A little bit too late, though. Well, check that. Only the first person will foul on Matthew Wright. So he will stay in the ball game. Check the alley. will check back in. Jared Uthoff will take his first breather for the evening. Nice look there at coach Kyle Milling. He's done so well for his squad. Sadohara is going to come up short on that first. Two team fouls for both these squads. Still a lot of time to be played here in quarter number one. Sadohara second will trickle in. That's going to extend the lead to five. Coming in for the first time is Ryuji Aoki. Kubota left open for three, and he makes the defense pay. You need to be able to keep your eye on the man with the basketball. Leads cut down to two. Inside Sadhara. Blackshear rattles in that three. That lead is back up to five. Check. With a handoff. Trying to force the issue. They go to the wing. Open three. That was partially blocked. Blackshear with the board. Funyu. To the wing. Sadohara. That settled things up once again. A couple of moves. Now he puts it on the floor. Gets it past Udo. A quick move there for Dwayne Evans. He's making look scoring so easy here. Blackshear with the board. Pushing it forward once again. Evans left open for that three and he hits. It's now a 10 point lead and still no moving. Coach Roy Rana to call a timeout. It's now 23 to 13. Approaching the two minute mark of the opening canto. Kubota's gonna bring it out. Gets a running start, puts up a three. It's a wild one. It's saved though. Didn't look like that hit the ring. They got a brand new 14 anyhow. And they will not score. Evans will kick it out. Dwayne. It's a good setup. And it's going to be a 13 point lead now. And eventually, Roy Rana says, Enough is enough. He's going to call his first time out here. Might be a little bit too late. That lead has now swelled to 13 as Hiroshima leads 26 to 13.
badly needed time out there by the Kyoto Hanariz as they now trail by 13. Just about a minute and a half remaining before the end of the quarter. Foul is going to be called there, stopping the action. That foul is going to be called on number 12, Takuto Nakamura. I caught in the pick there and was holding on to Udo. First personal foul and 13 foul for Hiroshima. Right, we need to look for a score here. Smart play and good move. Basket and one opportunity there. Coming for Ayoki. That's Ryuji Ayoki. There's another Ayoki on the other side for the Dragonflies in Yasunori Ayoki. It was yet to see action. When you got caught there. And that's going to put Hiroshima in the penalty. With a minute and nine seconds remaining. Completing the three-point plays, Ayoki, and that's going to cut the lead down to ten. Possession is with Hiroshima, though. Mayo back in the ball game. Being very patient to break that press. This, is, this lead is giving Kai Soto a good breather. Check Diallo. We try to push it forward. So just joining us, Kai Soto was a starter, but he picked up two quick fouls. He does have four points. Off two slam dunk, Sadohara takes it strong. Two free throws coming up for Rio. He just ran over Kubota there. And push it forward, and you can see obviously Kubota hasn't been set yet. That's going to be his first personal. That's going to be the third team foul for Kyoto. Two more free throws for Sadohara. He split from the line earlier. He's going to come up short in his first once again. Tries to stretch out a little bit. Let's see if that helps him out. Yes, it will. Two out of four from the line. Two points for Rio Sadohara. Kubota. We want something going towards the basket. Their opponents are in the penalty. Udo to the wing. Step back three. Yes! They needed that shot. This is staying step from Ayoki. Ayoki now with six points in the contest. Going for the last shot are the hosts. Carry on the outside. Quick pass. Mayo back to Carry. Black cheer for three. Not able to answer. Time for a final heave. Matthew Wright doesn't realize the situation. Quarter number one is done. Kai Soto did his job with four points. He's on the bench though. We'll see when Coach Kyle Milling sends him back in as we come back in a bit.
Welcome back to the Hiroshima Sun Plaza Hall as we got this battle between the Dragonflies and the Hanariz. This Wednesday evening, B-League action back here. It's been quite a while, especially after the FIBA window. Basketball around the world was at a halt, except of course for the PBA and the NBA. 2017-19, the hosts with an 8-point advantage. Starting out the second canto. Terashima back in action for his squad. Carey back to Terashima. Back to Blackshear. Blackshear from 17 feet will miss fire. Check Diallo with the rebound. Diallo now with six boards. He goes inside, gets blocked. Blackshear was right there. To the wing. 2G. No. Good line, a little bit too strong. Check trying to go for an early seal, comes out, sets the pick. Matthew on the outside. Matthew finds a lane. That should be two shots. Good move there from Matthew Wright. And Chuji on a string there. Isaiah Murphy will be checking in for the first time. So they're saying the foul was on the drive from Matthew Wright. Isaiah Murphy actually just checked in. That's smart play coming from Matthew Wright as Konishi will rejoin the action. He was a starter here today. Gonna cut the lead down to seven. Matthew Wright in his first year here in the B League. After many years in the Philippine Basketball Association. Originally from Canada, moved to the Philippines to play ball, and now he's making Japan his permanent home. 27-21 is her official tally. Blackshear. We'll get it back to Terashima. That's a poor pass. Two on one break. Matthew Wright hop high. Easy slam there for Czech Diallo. Kyle Milling doesn't like what he sees at the start of this second quarter. He's going to call this time out. His team's lead has been cut down to four. Back to the action. Dragonflies with the possession. Isaiah Murphy to the wing. Tuji. Darashima will bring it closer. Will miss from 16 feet. No, he won't. It will drop. He's going to get the shooter's roll. And they're back in business. Extending that lead back up to six. Jared Uthoff left wide open. He'll miss fire though. That's good boxing out there from Terashima. Aoki trying to get to that one, but just couldn't find any space. 
May will bring it down. Token pressure being shown here by Jared Uthoff. Murphy back to Mayo. Two-man game up high. Mayo. Gonna muscle his way inside. Will miss. But there's Kerry Blackshear. He's gonna clean up that mess. And the lead is back up to eight. Very good timeout for coach Kyle Milling. His team back in control here. Look for some space. Is right. He'll kick it out. Konishi. Basket of one opportunity there. There's a slight nudge. He felt it. He put it up. And it dropped. Terashima there. There was a nudge with the left hand. It wasn't much. But when you go up in the air... Slight nudge like that can really pull you off track. You can see Terashima saying, my, my arm was up, yes? His right arm was, but his left arm was pushing on. So now looking for a three-point play opportunity. Se Ekonushi. Pretty good game so far. That's actually his first three points, but he has actually led his team here by setting the pace, controlling the tempo. So his team is still down by five. Matthew Wright trying to give chase. Isaiah Murphy inside gets blocked. Uthoff to the wing, right launches. Bang! It's going to cut the lead back down to two. Kyle Milling screaming out instructions from the sidelines. That was poor transition defense. That's that time, but it was Matador defense from Kyoto. As Terashima will score once again. He's got seven points to go with two rebounds and one assist. Matthew Wright feeling it. Goes inside. Check the arrow. Gets blocked by the rim he apologizes once again as Ozawa says I got all ball the officials say otherwise look at that block by the rim there on the slam from Czech so the foul is on Kinishi that's his first Ben Evans checks back in. He had a very good first quarter. Tsuji will launch. Yes! Tsuji now with six points. He also has two assists and one board. And the lead is back up to seven. This has been a game of runs here. Sidestepping move is going to work there for Jared. Utoff now with five points. He also has three rebounds. Dwayne Evans, no. He thought he got away. Right to the wing. Ozawa hits. And Ozawa's going to cut his lead back down to two. Ozawa's first three points in the contest. Terashima looking for space. Real hit from 15 feet. Terashima now with nine points. Close to double digits already. Utoff almost traveled. Two-man game. Jared launches from three. That rattles out. That was halfway down. Evans to the board. Tsuji racing down court. Not the best of fouls from Ozawa, but in the end, that's going to stop the play. That's going to stop the action. That's going to bring us to this official timeout. Already, there was a big bump. And then when they bumped again, that's the only time the foul was called. The first there on Ozawa. 
4.43 remaining in the first half. And it's a four-point advantage enjoyed by the Dragonflies. The league action once again here this Wednesday evening as we're coming to you from the Hiroshima Sun Plaza Hall. Tsuji looking for space. Puts it down. Ria Terashima left wide open will fall short. Coming out of that skirmish is Udo and company. Not a good possession that time though. And Udo's going to come up with a poor foul. Udo has not been so impressive yet so far here. He's a behemoth at six foot ten. But his cut was a little too sharp there off that pass. As he picks up his first personal foul. That will be the third team foul for Kyoto. Mayo. Mayo still with possession. We'll put up this long two and hits. Mayo's got that range. Mayo's actually a three-level scorer. Lead is back up to six. Kubota hits once again. He's been very active since he was designated to a backup position. Maybe trying to show Coach Roy Rana that he deserves to be in the starting lineup. Things working well for the squad with the rotation that Coach Roy has. Isaiah Murphy to the wing. Tsuji. Mayo will launch from three. A little bit offline. No look pass. Uthoff not able to hold on to that one. But it's going to stay here on this end. It looked like Uthoff just lost possession. Let's take a look. Ooh, quick hands there from Isaiah Murphy. Saving the easy two points. Kubota. Against Mayo. Finds no space. He's got to bring it out. Utov now. Couple of moves. That's a three second violation. No question about it. He should have just put that one up. Soft touch. Even if it misses. Udo was there. Well, for Coach Roy Rana, at least his team is still within striking distance as Kai Soto will check in for the first time here in the second period. He was a starter for Coach Kyle Milling and he helped out with four points and one rebound. Let's see what he can do here in the final three minutes. Let's see if they try to go inside with their big man. Evans will go inside. Well, he got blocked initially by Udo. Picks it up and he's come up with his third slam dunk. 
All his three buckets. Slam dunks. Six points now in the contest for Kai. Kubota. Layup a little bit too strong, but two free throws coming his way. That's going to be the third team foul for Hiroshima as Nakamura will pick up this one. A little bit too much body that time from Takuto Nakamura. That's his second personal. Coming back in is Ayoki. And so far, the hand of his fans have had so much to cheer about. But Kyoto has come back. They were down by 13 points at one stage. At 26 to 13. Could be down by just four after the second free throw. Forty-two thirty-eight is our official tally. A little bit of a press being shown up high. And they call it off. Just to surprise the offense more than anything else. Inside Kai Soto once again. He's got eight points. All he needs is space. Inside that shaded area, he's deadly. To the wing, Matthew Wright answers back. That's going to cut the lead in half. Matthew Wright now in double digits with 11 points. Little shove. Going to be called there on Ryuji Aoki. That's going to put Kyoto in the penalty. There's still a minute 58. There's a little nudge. Sometimes referees will let that go. Not that time, though. Oh, the veterans coming in. Shogo Asayama, the 41 year old, is on the floor now. He stands six foot four. So you know, he's got the height. He's a little bit taller now. Are the boys in red? Kubota looking for space, couldn't find it. He was up against Blackshear there. He's going to try once again. Steps back and does so well against Carey. The timeout will now be called here by the Dragonflies. As their lead has been cut down to just one. Coach Kyle Milling doesn't want to give up the lead. As he uses up another timeout. Kai Soto was free under. Just for a fraction of a second, they couldn't find him. Blackshear. Nice look. Evans kisses it off the glass. 
He was very confident that even if he missed, Kai Soto was there for the putback. Lead is back up to three. Exactly a minute remaining here before the halftime break. Utoff was looking for the tie there. He does not get it. That would have squared things away. The last time we were tied was at five. Blackshear to the wing. Sayama's not going to force anything. Blackshear will miss, but there once again is Kai Soto. That's why all you got to do is just put it up softly and let Kai do the rest. He got fouled there in the putback, so two free throws here. Udo has not had a good game. That was clearly a foul there. Kai takes care of the first free throw. He's got nine points. He also has three rebounds. It has been a forgettable stint so far here for Udo. No problem with the free throws here for Kai. And a timeout will now be called by Kyoto. As coach Roy Rana wants to make sure they get something positive out of this offensive thrust. Let's see what they do here on their final thrust. They go to check. And check scores. That's going to cut the lead down to three, but Evan says we're going to take the last shot here. So regardless of what happens, we should have the lead. He was attacking early. Then he realized that they need to take the last shot. Now they got to make their move. Evans will come up short. Offensive rebound there goes to Saduhara. Wow. At the right place, at the right time. That was Udo's ball. He should have gotten that rebound. Not able to track it down. And Kamisawa did the right thing. Just made sure there was body contact. And he's got a free throw to boot. It's been a horrible day here for Udo. Well, the referees are taking a look because I think they might add some time here on the board. Not too much. But definitely there was a foul. Coach Roy Rana saying that the foul came after the buzzer. Let's see what they say. There was actually no motion there from the referees. That's going to be the third personal foul on Ekpe Udo.
So they're going to put point eight back. Kamisawa looking to complete a three-point play. It will be too strong. Soto! That might have counted. But in the end, it's a five-point advantage here. 50 to 45 as Udo storms off. He's having a horrible day. Don't go away. More basketball action coming your way in a bit.
Check out the highlights here of the first two quarters of play. Rio Terashima hits from the outside to start scoring. They got off to a very good start. Talking about the Dragonflies. That's another three that goes down. This time from Chuji. Jared Uthoff will misfire on that one. Check Diallo there with a the putback though. Asking for a foul, none given, but play on, they say. Here is Kai Soto going to work inside. That was just handed to him there by Dwayne Evans. Kai Soto with a two-handed slam off an assist from Terashima. All you got to do is put it in that time zone. You go up and get it and slam it through. Three-pointers going down for Aoki there. Actually, both these squads did so well from the outside, but here's Matthew Wright with a steal. This is a better angle to take a look at this one from. Look out below. Check Diallo scores on a slam. He would miss one breakaway dunk, though. That's something he wouldn't want to see in the highlights. As Chuji hits once again, he's got two threes at that particular stage, and Dwayne Evans will get denied. Off and running once again. To the wing, Ozawa knocks down that three. It was an early 13-point advantage for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. But the Kyoto Hane is whittled away at that lead. First quarter ended 27 to 19 in favor of Hiroshima. And there's Soto once again. He got blocked. He stays with it and comes up with another dunk. He had three dunks, one put back, two free throws. There was that smart play. Just to end the quarter there from Kamisawa. He would miss firing the free throw though as we take a look at the numbers here. Five point lead enjoyed by the Dragonflies. They're shooting 61% from two point distance. That's where the main difference was because looking at the three-point shooting from both these squads, they essentially tied each other. Six free throws each. Taking good care of the basketball were both these teams. Hiroshima Dragon flies with four, only six for the Kyoto Hanaris, which actually didn't look that that number was going to be what it shows after two periods because in the first three minutes, they came up with so many turnovers. 22 to 18 plus four there in terms of the points in the paint. As we take a look at the leading scores for both these squads. So 11 points there for Evans, 10 there for Kai Soto, and Terashima comes up with 9 for the team that trails. 11 points there for Matthew Wright, 9 there from Kubota, who came off the bench, and 6 points for Ayoki. Look at more numbers. Rebounding-wise, Black shares 5 boards, Four rebounds there for Soto and three for Terashima. This is the head-to-head -head matchup that we're looking at. It's one-way traffic. Soto there with 10 points, four rebounds, and he also has two assists. On the other side, we have only two points, one rebound, and three fouls. There for the import, Ekpe Udo. I don't think he's going to start. There he is, the end of the bench. Rebounding numbers this time for Kyoto. Czech Diallo's got six. Uthoff has got five. And Kubota has one. In terms of the assists, Evans would have four. Three for Mayo and two for Tsuji for Kyoto. Matthew Wright has five dimes. Two for Udo. And Kubota has one. So at least Udo is helping out in the assist department, but he needs to be able to help out defensively and also score some baskets. Two points is not enough for an international import. Nice look there at Coach Kyle Milling. His team has controlled the pace and the tempo of this match most of the way. More numbers. Rebounding-wise, plus four there for 
Hiroshima at 19-15. And they are plus four in the assist department, 14 to 10. Now back to the action. On the floor, nice spin there by Mayo. Almost lost it. They look inside, Kai Soto. All he needs to do is put that ball up and it's almost impossible to block him. Remember, he's seven foot two and he's got hops. He's got 12 points. It's now a seven point lead enjoyed by Hiroshima. Uthoff almost lost it. Facing a double team. They'll have to kick it out. They're gonna give away this three and they might have to rethink that strategy. Ascobota hits another one from downtown. He's got 12 points. Maybe if you want to give up an open three, just not to Kubota. Challenge somebody else. That lead. Cut down to four. Big, big action. And that's an easy lay in there for Kai Soto. Hand off here. Matthew Wright copped out. Kai Soto will give it up. And once again, they look for their big man, and why not? He runs the floor very well, and Kai Soto with 16 points right now. He's come alive here in the third. Not having to worry about his foul trouble anymore. Rio comes away. To the wing. Tsuji to Evans. Evans won't get that to drop though. Back up to an eight-point lead still here for Hiroshima. Check Diallo. Will be fouled there by Chuji. Oh. Kai Soto in his imposing figure. Here he is running the floor. Just put his hand up. And actually, his point guard saw it. Another solid out in here for Kai. He's hoping that the B League will be just a stopover for him, just like Australia on his way to the NBA. Check Diallo will score, though, on that putback. That's where Kai really needs to dominate off the boards. Mayo, trying to post up, they can't find him. He likes this matchup against Matthew Wright. Matthew's been holding his own. Sadohara? No, that was Rio. 56-50 still our tally. Terashima has had his opportunities from the outside. He's scoring quite well though, he's got nine points. To go with four boards and two assists. Zawa with a handoff. Kubota inside the paint. Had to force that one up. Will miss fire. Uthoff. Quite surprised he didn't put that one up. Kubota to the side. Ozawa for three. That rims out. Easy put back there for Czech Diallo. Gotta put a party on Czech. He loves to crash the offensive boards. It's gonna cut the lead back down to four. Again, within striking distance is Kyoto. Matthew Wright has done so well. There's Kai Soto once again. Using every inch of his 7 foot 2 frame. He's got 18 points. Not to mention he's got 5 rebounds as well. Kyoto looking for some space. Kubota! It'll be too strong there. Soto with the rebound, gives it up. Tries to seal inside. But Mayo will put up a three and hit. Nick Mayo's got that range. And that lead is back up to nine. It was down to four just a few minutes earlier. Puthoff. Still with the ball. Not too much movement here from the boys in white. Utop will take it strong inside. And a foul will be called on Nick. Well, he knew it. There was contact. 
He bit there on that fake. Got him on the hand. At the last minute. First personal foul there for Nick. And Saduhara will check in. Saduhara, usually a starter. But if not, he'll be the first person off the bench. Coach Kyle Milling. Trying to double check the defense that his team is employing on the floor. Utov makes the first. Send it up high. Tuji looking for space. Launches a three. Good line, just a little bit too strong. And we're going to stay on this end. Touch last there by the boys in white. Kamisawa's back. He's a heady player. As you saw that quick move he had at the end of the half. Takuto is also back in action for his squad. And on the outside, Nick Mayo will connect. He's got two threes here in the third. He's got eight points total, and it's back to a 10-point advantage for the boys in red. Matthew Wright launches. Will misfire. Check Diallo. Can't clear. And here's Saduhara. Inside to Mayo! Secondary break there, and Nick Mayo with a big two-handed slam, and a timeout will have to be called by Coach Roy Rana. Welcome back to the Hiroshima Sun Plaza Hall. This Wednesday action's venue. As we got the Dragonflies hosting the Hanariz. So far so good here for Hiroshima. And especially after that miss from Jared Utov. They've got possession once again. Trying to increase this lead further. The biggest lead so far has been 13. It is now at 12. Gary almost traveled. Back to Blackshirt to the wing. Open three. But a foul is going to be called. And that might be on Matthew Wright. Well, he had to actually foul. Or else Nick Mayo would have easily gotten that rebound. Nice look there at Takuto. Matthew there. 
explaining his side of the story. But at the end of the day, he's got two personal fouls. They now have Czech guarding Nick. Only 14 seconds. Takuto finds Nick Mayo. Mayo will go inside. There was a lot of body contact. They let it go. But it's now a 14 point advantage at 68 of 54. Offensive foul is going to be called. Things are going from bad to worse for the Kyoto Hanariz. Ooh, what a shove there from Czech Diallo. That was clear. And that was right in front of the referee as he picks up his first personal foul. We talked about Czech Diallo having flashes of brilliance here and there. That's an offensive foul as well from Takuto. Takuto Nakamura. Kyle Milling saying, that's not the area you're supposed to be going to. And you can't do that. In plain sight of the referee as well. That's going to be his third. He's still on the floor though. Expecting to be replaced probably by Seiya Funyu. Kubota can't find a friend. Finds Diallo. Diallo, they send a quick double. Matthew Wright left open on the other side. He's deadly. Hits that three. He's going to cut that lead down to 11. He's got 14 points in the contest. Spotting up. Ozawa short there. Check try to get it, but Blackshear. Picked up the garbage. Now they got the possession. Looking to increase this 11-point lead once again. Under three minutes to be played here in the third. Tsuji to Mayo. That's a very soft pass. Check Diallo. Easy put in. He was thinking of slamming that through, but he said, never mind. Two points is two points. He's got 12 points in the contest. That's going to cut the lead down to nine. And so Kyle Milling says, it's time to stop their progress. Kai Soto checks back in here for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. 2.45 left here in the third. Hiroshima is back in action. Essentially, they got the starting five, except here for Kelly Blackshear. Rio hits from the outside once again. He is now in double digits. 11 to be exact. Lead is back up to 11. Uthoff to the wing. Matthew Wright launches once again and hits. 
And he gets hit there by Isaiah Murphy. Four point play in the offing here for Matthew Wright. He's matching his Philippine teammate. Step for step, point for point, basket for basket. He's got a free throw coming here. Matthew right now with, as you saw earlier, 17 points, could be 18. He also has six assists. That'll drop. It's gonna cut the lead down to seven. Good mini run put together here by Kyoto in the closing minutes of the third period. Rio. They'll go to the wing, Evans. Evans against Wright. Wright has really picked up the opponent's international import and has done quite well. And just when I said that, he's going to pick up a foul here on Carey. That'll be number three here on Matthew. And Matthew's going to say he was trying to get out of the way. There's confirmation. Here's exactly what happened. He got him on the switch. And you can see Blackshear was actually holding on to him. That's the oldest trick in the book and it worked. And that's going to send the hottest player on the floor at this particular point in time. Back to the bench. He was sizzling here with two three-pointers and he completed that four-point play. And now they're going to have to send in their big man, Ekpe Udo. That's what he's got to do. Get those defensive rebounds. As Evans will pick up a foul. Not a good foul because Hiroshima is in the penalty. They're in the penalty with about two minutes plus here in the third. Komura is going to check in. Takahiro Komuro, the 22-year-old. Misfiring there. Kai will pick up another rebound. Kai Sotona with seven boards. He's going to set that pick. It's not going to be used though. And in the end, another two points. Easy basket there for Rio Terashima. Got to stay in front of their man. Nice kick out. The youngster will miss fire. Chance there for Komuro to get on the board. Uthoff, that's from the downtown parking lot. Will come up short. Quickly they go to Kai. Kai up and under move, goes to the baby hook, he'll fall short, saved once again. Look at that ball movement. Kai overshoots. And they're going to say Isaiah Murphy stepped out of bounds. Kai's floater was just a little bit too strong. But you like the hustle from the boys here of Coach Kyle Milling as he applauds there on the sidelines. So Komura says, I didn't touch him. But Komura's going to pick up his first personal. That will also put Kyoto now in the penalty with 49 seconds remaining. Mackie Wright back in action. And Kerry Blackshear hits that three. And the lead is back up to 11. Blackshear now with eight points in the contest. Uthoff will bring it closer. Three on the wing, a little bit too strong. Ozawa ran down court. He thought that was good. If he stayed in that position, he would have gotten that rebound. Kai Soto has been very impressive here today. And there's Roy Rana thinking, what adjustments can I make against Soto? 24.6 remaining, so 0.6 difference between the game clock and the shot clock. 
Neither team can foul here unless they want to give their opponents free throws. Rio tries to look inside. Kai Soto once again didn't even put that ball down. He knew exactly what he needed to do. Utov will try to answer. He loses possession. That shot will not count even if it goes through. But once again, you got a seven foot two behemoth inside. Why not milk him till the end? And as we added to the fourth, Hiroshima leads by 13, 77 to 64. Fourth quarter is underway here at the Hiroshima Sun Plaza Hall. Things looking good for the hosts as they're up by 13. Matthew Wright puts up a three, hits! Matthew is scorching here. He's got 21 points. And most of his damage being done here in the second half. Evans inside, gets denied there by Czech Diallo. Why not look for Matthew Wright? He goes to the wing, open three, Ozawa, bang! That's going to cut the lead down to seven. Matthew Wright with another assist. That's assist number seven. Well, you've got to react to Matthew with the ball. That's for sure. But he's a willing passer. And he has helped cut down this lead. Blackshear will try to attack Matthew's defense. He'll miss fire. Blackshear there. Is not going to get that to drop. It looks very close. But how can you get those defensive boards? Blackshear is there inside together with Kai Soto. Watch it once again. You've got to box Soto out. Soto kept that one alive. It fell into the hands of Blackshear. And Czech Diallo will pick up a personal. Only the second personal foul there on check. Blackshear very steady from the line. Establishes another nine point edge. Extra pass, they look inside. And he should be going the other way, Matthew. We're still looking for the open man, but sometimes, as they say, you might have to look for your shot, especially when you're in the groove. 
Though Evans was there to his credit. Matthew just needs a little bit of space to launch. Isaiah Murphy in the ball game. They're trying to use his athleticism. Bounce pass, kicked. No, they're not going to say it's a kick ball. So just nine seconds in the shot clock. Nakamura. We'll do the inbound. Gets it inside to Evans. Evans needs to make his move quickly. Kai will go inside. Floater, no. And it's Dwayne Evans. Looks like will be called for the foul. Evans. Ooh, that looked like there was really no possession there, but you understand where the referees were coming from. Evans is coming off from the side. Check Diallo. Got the rebound square. Kubota. Kubota inside will score. Lead is back down to seven. Already 14 points coming off the bench here for Kubota. Isaiah looking for space. Finds Blackshear. Blackshear will get that to drop. He was also looking for a foul. He's got 12 points. The imports are now coming to the forefront of the attack for both these squads. There's Matthew hitting once again. And that's why we said he should have taken that shot earlier. He's got 24 points. That's going to cut the lead down to six. We got a ball game here, that's for sure. Blackshear. A little bit hesitant there on his moves. Three will not drop. Evans, power dribble. We'll give it up. Blackshear, yes. You can see Dwayne Evans just around the basket. Trying to give his team more opportunities to score and is able to do so there. Foul will be called on Nakamura. That might be the only thing not really going the way of the boys in red is they're close to being in foul trouble. That's going to be the fourth personal foul on Nakamura. Two team fouls quickly here for the Dragonflies. But Rio Terashima back. Actually, the starting backcourt is back. As Naoto Chuji is also there, playing the one and the two respectively. Check Diallo asking for the pass. Doesn't get it. Right. Finds Uthoff. They look inside. That is well run. Very patient play. And you like the fact that they're not forcing the issue. They were always looking for the better shot. Matthew Wright had an open one. Found Uthoff and Uthoff found Check Diallo with a layup. Rio from the outside. That was going to rattle through. He's got 16 points. And they've got Kai Soto on the bench now. Talking about the Dragonflies. Resting for a strong finishing kick in the last five minutes. So far, very good coaching done by Coach Kyle Milling. Getting away is Kubota. He thought he was fouled. And again, you can see that look of frustration. But still, we're right in there. He's trailing by seven. Evan says, let's set it up. Rio, back to Chuji. Chuji didn't launch. She'll bring it closer. He's going to have two free throws coming up here. And again, you have to react to Chuji up high because he is one of the better shooters here in the B-League. Well, Ozawa has a point. He was actually just standing there. But Chuji says, thank you very much. Two free throws coming my way. Takes care of the first. He's got seven points. 
Second personal foul going to be called on Ozawa. Second coming up. Sweet looking shot there coming from Naoto Chuji. Quick play. The problem is Czech Diallo was caught deep under his basket. And then Rio was there also to help out. 16 seconds still in the shot clock here for Kyoto. Basket and one, no. But two free throws coming up here for Matthew Wright, making that quick cut. And he says, that's a perfect pass. Couldn't finish. Pretty good line here for Matthew Wright. He's got 24 points, one rebound, and seven assists. squad here of Kyoto inching closer once again but seems like they can't break that five point barrier let's see if they can here but they're going to need some stops almost halfway gone through here in the fourth and final quarter some pressure once again being shown by Osawa and Kubota and then they settle down into a zone Chuji can be the zone buster with those threes. Blackshear will attack inside, kicks it out. Mayo for three. Matthew, that's a pinpoint pass, finds check Diallo. Diallo now with 16 points, and they're knocking at the door. There are five points. Can they break that barrier? We'll find out after this official timeout. Hold on to your seats here for the finish of this ball game. The Hiroshima Dragonflies hosting Kyoto Hanarez here at the Hiroshima Sun Plaza Hall. Under five minutes to be played. A five-point advantage enjoyed here by the hosts. And they've got possession. Wanting, needing to score here. Get themselves a little bit more breathing room. Kai Soto has been resent into the ball game. Black Shear left open for three. Bang! Well run play there by the Dragonflies. Blackshear now with 17 points. He's back up to 8. Uthoff gets it to right. Matthew. Nice find Uthoff. We're trying to bring it close. A little bit of a shove there. Gets away with it. 
Blackshear saying, what happened there? He ran me over. Lukov now with nine points. Leads still at six. That will not count. Even if it dropped, they say the foul by Kubota was much earlier. There was the foul. And then he made sure that he held on to the arm just in case. Terashima quickly saying, give me two free throws. But Kubota will say, nope, I fouled you much earlier. Coming in now is Konishi. Mayo. Sidestepping move. Quick hands there from Matthew Wright. Saving the two points there. Shot clock is down to eight. Under four minutes remaining here in this contest. Quick move and a power move there for Nick Mayo. He's going to have two points, 14 in total, and the lead is back up to eight. We want Matthew to create, but then it, they might want to try to setting up Matthew for an open three. Bounce pass, open three, Ozawa, yes! And he looks hurt. He quickly gets up. He's got nine points. The pass, that's too high. And Terashima knew it. He quickly apologizes. And the lead is at eight. Inside, outside basketball and... Tomomasa Ozawa drains that corner three. He will be replaced as he attends to that ginger ankle. Konishi bring it down. Now they find Matthew. Konishi once again. Shot clock down to five. Right, might have to create. That's a good block. Suji got up there, came up with a block, and it's going to be a turnover here. We talked about that five point margin being the real Waterloo here. Clear block. Ayoki should have taken that the moment he got possession, but. It's all water under the bridge. Dwayne Evans will check in. So you got Evans, Soto, and Nick Mayo as the imports. Tsuji. Not really known for his defensive prowess. He's known for scoring. And he scores once again. Drills in that too. He's in double digits. Foul will be called there on Rio. And that foul will put the Dragonflies in the penalty. Not really a smart foul. Kunishi was going nowhere. Second personal foul going to be called on Terashima. 95-88 is our tally. Uthoff will launch for three. Will come up short. He knew it. He was there. And he can't lay that one in though. Kai Soto with a duty foul. Well, you don't want anything easy right now. That's a good challenge. Send it to the line. That's going to be the third personal foul on Kai Soto. So he was able to really manage his fouls. He picked up two quick ones in the first five minutes of the game. And now with 2.22 remaining, he picks up his third. Utoff with his second free throw can get it back to five. But can they breach that five-point mark? We'll find out. They've been trying. But Hiroshima has been up to the task.
So that leads back down to five. Possession with Hiroshima though. Evans will go inside. Quick hands there from Czech Diallo. Check sidestepping move and he scores inside. That lead is down to three. 18 points in the contest here for Czech. As we approach the final two minutes, the twilight zone. Here we go! Where does Chuji go? To the wing. Mayo will not force the issue. We'll kick it out. Rio for three, a little bit too strong. In the open court. Just one man to beat. They go to check Diallo. Basket on one opportunity. And we might be tied at 95 apiece. Hiroshima try to stay in front try to force the charge well he was still moving it's one of those bang bang plays a lot of times when you see the import in front of you just get out of the way he would still be with a one point lead but now check Diallo Looking to tie things up. We were last tied at five. This will be only the third deadlock of the contest if Czech Diallo is up to the task. Expect a timeout to be called here by coach Kyle Milling. We were tied at 95. No timeout. I guess coach Kyle Milling talked to his squad and Already mapped out the strategy. Remember here under FIBA rules, you cannot call a timeout. So they've got to go. They've got to score. Shot clock down to six. Down to five. 2G for three. Bang! What a huge shot there from 2G. Kyle Milling. Still holding on to his timeout. As Roy Rana says, let me burn one. We need to score here. A minute, 15 seconds remaining in this one. Three-point lead by Hiroshima, but Kyoto with possession. They can tie things up here. Long three! That rims out. Big rebound there by Soto. They're not yet out of the woods. Talking about the dragonflies. They need to score here. Mayo will bring it up. They'll use some clock. But they need to score. Mayo. Mayo attacks inside, puts it up. Two free throws now here for Nick. 
He had the option of throwing it up high. Kai Soto was waiting for it. But two free throws here to make it a two possession ball game. Some slight body contact there from Cech Diallo. He can't believe it. But he's going to pick up his third personal foul. 51.4 seconds remaining here. Mayo, crucial free throws, makes the first. Hiroshima looking for win number 29 here tonight. Kyoto now with that foul is also in the penalty. Two free throws down. Kyoto needs to score here. Right with the hot hand. But they go to Jared Uthoff. He'll miss once again. Right, not forcing the issue. Two misses already here for Jared in the last 30 seconds. Force three by Kubota. That just might do it. Quite surprised why he did that. They need to get it past the timeline so the Hara will get fouled. And it should be a one ball game here. Poor shot selection coming from Hanariz. Will do them in here. They didn't even need a three in the previous possession, but Uthoff went for it. Quick two still would have worked. That still would have kept it at a one possession ball game. Sadohara trying to ice this one to make it a three possession ball game. A lot is expected of this youngster, Sadohara, given so much playing time already, still at a young age of 22. We'll make both. And a timeout will be called here by Kyoto Hanares, though they are down by seven and only 22.9 seconds remain. Twenty-two point nine seconds remain here in this one. Essentially a one ball game here. Utoff will put up another three. Kai Soto will get that rebound in. They don't need to foul here anymore. They're just gonna dribble away the seconds. They'll kick it out. They don't need to score. And no more foul here. Utoff put up three threes in the last minute. All of them falling short. And Kai Soto will pick up another victory here with this squad, the Hiroshima Dragonflies. And they're going to win this one by 7, 102 to 95. Another solid outing here for Kai Soto with 20 points, 8 rebounds. Helped out there by Nick Mayo with 16 points, 5 assists. Ryo Terashima, solid outing as well. With 16 points, 5 rebounds, and 8 assists. Evans contributing 11 points, 
six dimes and four boards. Tsuji also helped out. It was an all-around effort here for the Dragonflies as they pick up win number 29. We're going to hear from the winning coach, Kyle Milling, in a bit. And some of the heroes here. Could it be Kai Soto? Could it be Ria Terashima? Could also be Dwayne Evans or Nick Mayo. We'll find out. Stick around for the interviews. As you can see there, Kyoto actually came up with a big burst in the fourth, but just too big of a deficit that they were facing here. They won that fourth quarter by six, but they will still fall short. We're setting up the interview first, and we're going to hear from Coach Kyle Milling. Jarutov looking up, thinking, what could have transpired if just one of those two threes of mine dropped? Both teams not leaving the floor. There must be some presentation to be made after this game. Usually, the visiting squad will head on to the bench, well, leave their bench and head to the locker room, but they're all still here. Well, Matthew Wright will be asked to come to the middle. Matthew Wright had an exceptional ball game. He would finish with 26 points, 2 rebounds, and 8 assists. Albeit in a losing effort, there's Kubota, who also came up with a good showing. They're being handed some cards here. It's Matthew right there on the left and Naoto Chuji on the right. That's why they stayed. Stand up for their home squad. And also to cheer for the visitors who traveled all the way here to the Hiroshima Sun Plaza Hall as they now make their exit. And we're going to hear from Coach Kyle Milling in a bit. So now they're sitting down because they want to find out what Coach Kyle will mention. Well, we're going to hear from Kai Soto first. I guess player of the game, the man of the match goes ahead of the head coach. As we talked about it, Kai Soto, a late addition here to the Hiroshima Dragonflies, took the place really of Justin Baltazar. Baltazar didn't see too much playing time, opted out of his contract, and he's back in the country. Back in the Philippines to be exact. Kai Soto, after his stint, in the NBL in Australia has now made his way here to Japan and his plans he has stated is after the B League he wants to give first his team a championship here and then he will head to the United States for the Summer League and then he will banner Team Philippines Gilas Pilipinas in the upcoming World Cup to be co-hosted by Japan 
Indonesia, and the Philippines. They should be giving Kai a mic here. Oh, they're going to give him some more goodies first. Well, there's the mic. And now let's hear from Kai Soto. Uh, hey guys, I'm Kai Soto. Uh, I'm happy to, to be in this team, be in this city, and uh, I'm very happy that I got my first home win tonight. And I'm happy for the team, and I want to thank everybody uh, that came out and supported. え、Oh, the fans are, are amazing. Uh, as I said, I was uh, very excited uh, coming into this game, and uh, I wasn't shocked that the fans are great, and uh, you guys really helped us, gave us this uh, boost uh, tonight, and helped us uh, with this win. え、本当に驚かされました。皆さんの声援のおかげでですね、最後の最後まで戦い抜くことができて、そして本当に勝利に繋がることができました。え、本当に皆さんの声援ありがとうございました。そして今日の試合を簡単に振り返りますと、カイソット選手は 20 え、僕だけではなくてですね、本当にチーム全員がいいプレーをしてくれたなと思っています。コーチングスタッフの戦略であったり、え、本当に一人一人がいいプレーをして今日、え、勝ちを剥ぎ取ることができたのかなと思っています
えー、そ,うそのためにオフェンスが、えー、特に良かったなというふうには思います、えー、しかしながらディフェンスしっかりとあのこの練習でですね次の練習で、えー、しっかりと練習していきたいなというふうには思います本当にファンの皆様も、えー、あのおそらく見てて、えー、かなり楽しかった、えー、ゲームだったんじゃないかなと思いますのでしっかりと次茨城やるんですけども、えー、次に向けてしっかりと準備していきたいなと思います次は茨城ということでそのようなコメントもありましたがシーズンも終盤に差し掛かっていきます残りのゲーム勝っていくためにこの会場の皆さんも応援をしていきます。最後メッセージをお願いします。ナタタシファンは最高です。たくさん元気もらいました。えー、来て、なまた来てください。<笑>さお願いします。えー、また来てください。ありがとうございます。カエルウィリングヘッドコーチでした。ありがとうございました。Now, let's go to the highlights here before we wrap things up this Wednesday evening. Starting out sizzling from three point distance was Rio Terashima. He'll be backed up here by Naoto Chuji. Well, that's a specialty of Naoto. He would hit a couple of critical threes also in the fourth period to bail his team out here. Check Diallo with a put back. Check Diallo did quite well for his squad. He had 21 points and 10 rebounds. Double double. As we see Kai Soto there with a slam. And then here on the break, Kai Soto with a two handed jam. Kubota was actually. Their leading local scorer coming off the bench who had 16 points. Matthew Wright, we talked about it, will finish as the leading scorer for both these squads with 26 points. Jack Diallo didn't really start out as strongly. He asked me, it's a very quiet 21 points for Czech. Here's Matthew going to the corner. Ozawa hits. That's one of the eight assists from Matthew Wright. Here's Kubota. The usual starter here for Coach Roy Rana, but he's been relegated to. A six man roll. Here's Kai Soto staying with it. Gets blocked. Comes right back to him and he knows what to do. Especially right beneath the basket. Here is that heads up play. Off a foul there from Ekpe Udo. There was really no report on exactly what happened to Novar Gadsen, but Novar Gadsen, not as tall. As Ekpe Udo, but definitely more effective. Not just here when he played for Kyoto, but also when he played for the Shiga Lake Stars. Now the Shiga Lakes is what they're called this season. There's Kai Soto with the putback. A little while ago, Coach Kyle Milling talked about the fact that he was so happy that the fans were here. He thanked all of them for their energy. And he says, please come to the games to give us more energy as we look to make one final push here for the playoffs. And they're looking good. They once led by as much as 14 points at 68-54. But then, Kyoto made their run. They tied things up. At 95, and that was with a minute and a half to go, but proving steadier down the stretch it was Hiroshima because after being tied at 95, they never scored again. While Hiroshima was able to score seven points, well, they kept going exclusively to Jared Uthoff, 
He was a pretty good shooter. But maybe you might have wanted to go to Matthew Wright, who was on target here this afternoon. Look at that quick passing. Hiroshima draining that one. Here's Kubota again. He scored. He thought he got fouled. He thought he was heading to the free throw line. And you can see that exasperation on his face. Check Diallo. We'll get away there. That will bring them to within two. Carey. Knocking down that corner three. There's a basket of one opportunity there. And check Diallo. Would make the free throw. And that will tie things up at 95. But this, a backbreaker of a three from Naoto Chuji. That would give them a three point lead. And then they would add two more baskets after that. And so Kai Soto, so far, perfect here with his entry into the B-League as we break down the numbers. Collectively, 55% field goal shooting for the Dragonflies as compared to 48 for Kyoto. But the tables are switched because at the end of the first half, Hiroshima shot much better from two-point distance. And when you look at the three-point numbers, it was even. Now, two-point distance is even, essentially at 61%. But making the difference was a three. 46% as compared to 37%. Though, Kyoto actually made two more threes. Free throws just about the same. Only nine turnovers for the Dragonflies. 11 for Kyoto. That's still respectable. Just plus six inside the paint for...